Hey guys, it's Bren and I have something a little different and special, I think, for you today. I really don't know what it's going to be because it's currently in a box. But I was recently contacted by Shane over at The Candle Enthusiast. If you've heard of his channel, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Um, you guys, go check it out. I'm going to link to it below. I feel a little bit better knowing that he used to be a filmmaker because it doesn't make me feel so bad about my own videos, but his videos are beautifully edited. They're so professional. Look how professional this guy is. He has business cards. Um, and so if you haven't ever checked out his channel before, uh, it's really cool. He does some cool stuff over there and he's got a lot of Yankee reviews. So if you're looking for a good Yankee person to follow, subscribe to Shane. Again, it's the Candle Enthusiast. So he contacted me on Instagram and said he was doing uh, some collabs and he did one, I think, with Candle Cafe. I haven't watched it yet because I didn't want to know what I was getting, but he said, you know, let me just send you a box of stuff, open it on camera, tell me what you think. So... Okay, here we go. Uh, let's get this baby open because uh, it's been sitting on my counter for three days and I've been waiting to open it on camera until I had a chance to film and I'm dying here. Wow, he really, like this is secure. <laughs> okay, I just got it open and right on top. Look at this, look at this stuff. Okay, it says, Bren, hope you enjoy your mystery box. I hope I do too. And I don't know what this is here. He says, thank you so much for accepting my offer to do a mystery box candle evaluation. I've been trying this experiment with other YouTubers and I've been very excited with the results. Knowing a little about your aromatic preferences, I picked several, several fragrances from a few companies that would hopefully speak to you, but also be a bit outside the norm. I hope you find them thought provoking and maybe even a little shocking. Can't wait to see and hear your reactions. Okay, and I think that he's like printed some stuff out here about the stuff, but I'm not gonna look at it yet because I just wanna like get into it. All right, pretty well packed, it seems like. Okay, everything looks cute. Okay, one, one at a time. I'll start with whatever this is. Looks like a tiny little candle or possibly something to melt. I don't know. All right, uh, Washington Wicks Dash. It looks like it's from Etsy. Okay, let's give it a smell. There's nothing on here. Oh wait, no, there is a scent description. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, it's supposed to be orange, cherry, vanilla. Yeah. Wow, oh, it kind of smells like Fruit Loops to me, but like in a good way. I definitely feel like I get like all three of those notes and it smells really strong. This is so good. I, am I going to like them all this much? All right. Next. Well, this is a Kringle, which is Cauldron. This is a little outside of the box for me. It's very, it, it is a smoky scent. You know, and I just gave that positive review to Campfire Pumpkin from Bath and Body Works, even though I'm not typically into smoky scents, so I don't know. But it's also... Like, it's more complicated than that. It doesn't smell like just smoke. It almost feels like... I don't know how to describe this one. But, you know, the name seems appropriate. Because it's a smokiness, but it also kind of smells like... Like this kind of smoke that you might get from, like, boiling something. Not necessarily burning leaves. I don't know. Ooh, that's, that's like so different. If, if you were going for different, Shane, then that's, that's different. Okay, what's next? This one's in a little, little bag. Cottage Wicks. Mystic Forest. Okay, this is cute. Some of this stuff is so cute. Ooh, there's like potpourri on top. Rosemary. This smells good. It kind of smells like peach. Is there any kind of scent description going on here? Maybe that's what all these papers are for that I didn't read first. So probably, I gotta smell again. It's very much like an herbal fruitiness. I have to know if it's peach. I'm gonna have to go to the papers here. Let's see. There it is. Okay. I think I was way off because it says uh, that it's herbs and lavender spruce pine musk there's no fruit in this at all 
And yet, I still feel like I get like the pine and stuff now. But for some reason, there's something about it that makes me think of peaches. Okay, that's really, hmm, yeah, I like that. I think that so far, the first one is my favorite, but we're going to keep going because there's more. Okay, this one says Wonderland Collection, also from, it's called White Rabbit. Hmm. Okay. There is some kind of bakery note, I feel like. But also, cranberry? I could be way off. I could be way off on this one. I gotta look. This is a test of my nose. Give me a Bath and Body Works candle. I will nail it every time, but I am not. Oh, I, I nailed this one a little bit more than the last one because it says lemon cakes, cookies, white tea, and berry potion. Yeah, it's very sweet lemon. It's not sour, but I, 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 I get it. That's definitely up my alley for sure. That was that's good. That's good. So far, good job. All right. Let's see. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. We still have, we still have a little bit more goodies. All right. A little, oh, sorry. That was probably pretty loud. Okay. Next up, there's quite a few things in here. Some little matches. And let's see. Okay. Cute little bag. And some postcard. Ooh, a sticker. <laughs> and we have two little wax things. Oh, I dropped something. A button. <laughs> that is too much. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, I might have to. I might have to get those scissors back for this one. No, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. This one's called Seance. And let's see what I think it smells like. This has got some kind of soapy situation going on. Um, this one's out of my realm of expertise. But it's definitely like there's got to be some kind of floral and some kind of like fresh and clean type situation. Okay, let's look and see what it's supposed to be. So it was good of him to include this. Um... Frankincense, sandalwood. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That. Wait, no, that's not the one. They're all over now. Hmm. There's something... It's just complex enough that it's very intriguing. Okay, one more. One more. Oh, I should have just got the scissors. All right. Here we go. This one is called Church. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hmm. This reminds me of something. It's like bringing me back to something from my childhood. I don't know that I even want to try to guess on this one. I think I'm going to be wrong. I feel like there might be some vanilla in there somewhere. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna look. That one's really... Okay, this one is also frankincense and myrrh. You don't have to have a religious affiliation to appreciate the rich exotic perfume of frankincense and myrrh in our church candle. That's why they call it church. Hmm. But there's something like kind of smooth. There's like this little bit of sweet, like how I thought it had vanilla. Some kind of sweet undertone that sort of like makes it really blend together well. That one's really interesting. Okay, so going back here, you know, did I get a, did I, did he put me on anything about the witch's cauldron? I'm wondering because I gotta read up on that too. He says, okay, I had to include this retired Halloween fragrance from Kringle Candle. I and several other YouTubers have been strong advocates for the scent over the years, but it's certainly not for everyone. Because of the buzz created around the scent, the owner of Kringle, Mike Kittredge III, has recently proposed to re-release this as limited edition. If you've never burned it, it may shock you upon first sniff. 
And that might be an understatement. Huh. Okay. He doesn't have any fragrance notes. I don't know. It's smoky, but it's like weirdly complex. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I would have to burn it. Or like these little guys, these little daylights that they sell from Kringle, I like to actually just melt them. Now the more I smell it, the more I feel like it does smell like burning leaves. I keep going back and forth. This is terrible. This makes me seem <laughs> like I'm very indecisive because this is the first time I'm smelling all this stuff. Okay. This excellent job on the dash, man. That is like, oh, I love it. It's so good. This Mystic Forest, I really like it too. I, I do. And there, mm, there's something like, it's almost like a weird, ah, there's a sweetness that is like, I don't know, it smells like some kind of gummy candy, like, but also herbal. <laughs> the church is just, it's nothing like anything else I've like ever burned. And the seance is, it's different too. It's different than like what I would normally go for. And the white rabbit I really like as well. Because, you know, I'm a bakery person. And like with the lemon and the berries. Yeah, that is totally good. Oh my gosh, all this stuff is adorable too. Like super cute, cute packaging. Oh my gosh, so, oh, they're so cute. Thanks, Shane. This was awesome. I'm so excited about some of these. I'm excited about all of them, honestly. I am going to like light some of these and melt some of these right now. Oh, awesome. If you guys want to know what I think about these guys after uh, burning them for a little bit, follow me on Instagram at Candles and Music because for each and every one of them, I will give you a little like post burn, post melt kind of review or my thoughts on them. So anyway, yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to come up with some things to send to Shane. Hmm. I didn't want to do it before I saw what he was going to send me. So I could get some ideas because I was like, ah, what am I going to do? And now I've got to really think about this. Hmm. But if you want to see what I do send him, of course, you have to subscribe to his channel. So I will, again, link to that below. Thanks again, Shane. Thanks, everybody, for watching. My Instagram is at Candles and Music. I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.